टू इक्वल सम्स ऑफ मनी आर लेंट एट द सेम टाइम एट एट परसेंट पर एन एम एंड सेवन परसेंट पर एन एम सिंपल इंटरेस्ट द फॉर्मर इज रिकवर्ड सिक्स मंथस अर्लियर दैन द लेटर एंड द अमाउंट इन ईच इज रुपीज टू फाइव सिक्स जीरो द सम एंड द टाइम फॉर विच द सम्स ऑफ मनी आर लेंट आउट आर डैश so interesting one it says two equal sums of money right focus on the word equal two equal sums of money which means the principal in same in both the cases so two equal sums of money are lent at the same time right at the same time so both were lent out at the same time at 8% and 7% per annum simple interest the former is recovered 6 months earlier what do you mean by former i think the confusion that some of you have here is what is former and what is later See, latter is easy to understand. Right? Latter is the next one. Former is the earlier one, right? So when we say former and latter here, former refers to eight percentage. The latter refers to seven percentage, right? Eight percentage is for former. Seven percentage is for the latter one, right? So the former is recovered six months earlier than the latter. You getting it? You had given out two equal sums of money at so and so rates of interest, of uh, simple interest. The former, which means the one which was lent out at eight percentage per annum, was recovered six months earlier when compared to the latter one. Six months earlier than the latter one. So, if say the latter one was given for X years, the former one was given for X years minus six months. And then he says the amount in each is rupees two five six zero. The amount in each is rupees two five six zero. We have to find out the sum and the time for which the sums of money are lent out. Right the Sum and the time for which the sums of money are lent out. Now, one confusion that I can assume all of you had was about the wording here, form and letter, which I thought again should not be there because easy to, I mean, these are regular words, right? What I'm trying to tell you here is that even if you are confused with the words, your smartness in numbers should have helped you understand which one was given for X years and which one was given for X minus six months, X years minus six months. Because see, it says the amount in each is two five six zero. Whatever we have recovered, whatever we have recovered in both the cases is equal. First one gave two five six zero, second one also gave two five six zero. Understand? Same amounts were given, same equal. I mean, equal sums were lent out. The principal was same in both the cases. The principals were same. One has been given at eight percentage, the other has been given at seven percentage. One was recovered six months earlier, and after that, if we tell that the amount is same, it is obvious that the one which was recovered six months earlier, which was given for lesser time, had higher rate of interest, and the one which had lesser rate of interest was given for more time. Only then it can balance, right? See what is the confusion? The confusion is which one was given for? I mean, for how many? Uh, i mean the eight the one which was lent out at 8 percentage was it given for x years or x minus half year 6 months is like half year right so x years is like x minus half year or was 7 given for x minus half years the point is the amount recovered in both the cases is same 2560 so that should clear the confusion that the one which was given at higher rate of interest 8 percentage was given for lesser time And the one which was given at lesser percentage, seven percentage per annum, was given for higher time. Only then it will balanced. Because remember, simple interest formula is what PTR by hundred. PTR by hundred. If you say it was given for X years, in one case, and let's say eight percentage per annum, the other was given at uh, you know same principle, PTR by hundred. Say there are two cases, right? So principle P, it was given for X minus half years. And at seven percentage per annum. What is the what is the problem here? See lesser time period. In the second case, we have lesser time period x minus half and lesser rate of interest. When both are less and the principles are same, how can the amounts be equal? Not possible. You get me? So even if you are confused with the words there, you should be able to sort it out logically. All right. Now let me tell you how do we solve this. Easy one. If you have understood the question properly, then it shouldn't take much time. Let us assume the principles. There are two cases, right? So let's assume the principle in case one. I mean, case one and case two. Let's say, right? Principle in case one is P. Principle in case two is also P, right? Same amounts. Let's assume the time period here is m months. M months, which is equal to m by twelve years, right? I'm I'm taking it in months so that it's easy to calculate. M months. The time period here is m months. What will be the time period here? M minus six months. 
right the for, or or maybe uh, if you want to say former or later if you want to use that terminology then this should be m minus 6 and this should be m right m minus 6 and m and this is 8 percentage per annum and this is 7 percentage per annum you getting it this is latter and this is former so former was recovered six months earlier so if this was given for m months this was given for m minus six months this was given for eight percentage and this was given for seven percentage and the amount in each case is two five six zero again focus on the word amount what do you mean by amount this amount here means principal plus simple interest this is the total amount be careful what he's talking about here is the total amount because see he's talking about recovery right how much will you recover what will you recover you will you recover only the interest no you'll recover the principal that was given and the interest so that recovered amount is same in each case 2560 so here the amount is 2560 here also the amount is 2560 so if i have to convert this english statements into you know mathematical form this is what has happened here principal and principal both are same this was given for m minus six months this was given for m months this was given for eight percentage this is given for seven percentage and even after that the amounts are equal see amounts are equal means what the interests are equal because principal is anyway same you know that amount is equal to p plus si right a1 is equal to a2 what is a1 p1 plus si1 what is a2 p2 plus si2 all these things should be done mentally right now we know that p1 is equal to p2 so both will get cancelled if both will get cancelled can you say si1 is equal to si2 i said no the two amounts are equal the two principles are also equal so obviously the two interests should also be equal si1 is equal to si2 so i can say here whatever is si the same si will be available here as well that's it. Now we can solve the question easily. What is simple interest? Simple interest equals to PTR by 100. So you look at this. I can say SI1 is equal to SI2. Right? Whatever we have discussed here. Right? What is simple interest? P into T into R by 100. So P into T is M minus 6 into R 8 by 100 is equal to P into T into R by 100. T here is M into 7 by 100. Uh, technically both of these should be divided by 12 because the formula is ptr by 100 remember whenever you substitute time period it should be in years m minus 6 and m are in months so we should ideally divide it by 12 but even if you don't do that you know that uh, your answer would not get affected because both will get cancelled on the two sides right so 100 get cancelled p also gets cancelled what are we left with 8m minus 48 8m minus 48 is equal to 7m so what is m m is equal to 8m minus 7m m is equal to 48 48 months implies what is the time period see time period should be number of months divided by 12 48 by 12 is how much four years so a lot of understanding to be done mentally whatever i have explained here has to be understood mentally and then just the simple step will tell you that the time period is four years now once you know that the time time period is four years means what see time period is m is equal to 48 so that means here equals to 48 what is the time period here m minus 6 which means 42 m minus 6 will be 42 m will be 48 now either what do we have to find out the time for which the sums of money are lent out so the time for which they are lent out is four years very clearly the sum principal has to be calculated how can you calculate the principal either do the si calculation for former or do the si calculation for later both will give you the simple interest let's do it for the later one because we don't have to deal with m minus 6 and all that so do it so we know that si2 is equal to uh, or, or let's let's do it for the amount right amount amount is equal to 2560 amount is equal to 2560 what is amount p plus ptr by 100 right or, or let, let us do it in a smart way right what what have we discussed in our uh, simple interest video principal is always 100 percentage principal is always equal to 100 percentage what is the rate of interest here 7 percentage for how many years 4 years see 48 months is equal to 4 years right so if you are getting 7 percentage per year and you get it for 4 years how much simple interest will you gather 28 percentage 7 into 4 28 percentage so this 100 percentage plus 28 percentage 128 percentage is equal to 2560 what are we supposed to calculate we are supposed to calculate the principal principal is equal to what which should be treated as 100 percentage remember principal is always 100 percentage so 100 percentage is equal to what when 128 percentage how did we get this 128 percentage 128 percentage is principal plus interest so principal is 100 percent interest is 7 into 4 28 percentage so 128 percentage is 2560 when you cross multiply you will get principal as 2000 rupees see 128 into 20 is 2560 so 100 into 20 will give you 2000 
So the principal amount is 2000 and the time period is 4 years.